Ah, all righty. How's everybody doing? Wondering why I got called to this meeting. We might need your input on some stuff. Where's Eliza? She declined attending. I see. Well, we have to proceed anyway. Jairus? A few months ago, I was invited to participate in the Interdimensional Contest of Champions. We went over that after the Halloween incident, but there hasn't been any news since then until now. To help prepare the competitors, the Temlins, the guys who run this whole shebang, send out detailed dossiers of all the competitors to each contestant. Look, the simple fact is, if I'm in this, I'm in it to win it. So we need to start making preparations. What sort of preparations? Enhancing my tech, running battle simulations, coming up with whole new gadgets and strategies for this. Well, fortunately, we do have something on our side. We have finally finished our analysis of Comicron 1 in the wake of what happened last September. Bad news first. Temporal shields, advanced weaponry, and increased power output are all gone without Vice. We were able to gather a lot of data on what happened when Vice was on board the ship, but so far our attempts to trick the system into believing that Vice was still on board have not yielded any positive results. In addition, sections of the database were irreparably damaged both by the initial crash and the battle with Comicron 2. I'd say we've lost about 50% of the original library computer. We're still sorting through it, but a lot of sensor data and catalogs on various threats were gone. And the good news? The forge is still operational. Now, its capabilities are limited. I doubt we could repair the ship to the extremes Vice was able to when he got it off the moon's surface, but the replication system is very impressive, which led us to an interesting discovery. The Vigilant is not the only scout ship Vice had. How's that possible? We've mapped out the ship before. There's no room for other shuttles or stuff like that. Oh, but there is! The Forge's replication systems allow it to break down one scout ship and completely manufacture a different one. There are various types of vessels. A more long-range scout, a speed-based vessel, a gunship, one meant for more scientific examination, of course. We're working on seeing if we can manufacture the other vessels without needing to break down the Vigilant for it. Sounds promising. Keep at it. All right, Jairus, why don't you take it from here? I've agreed to be Linkara's coach for this contest. Now, they start with 32 champions, including Linkara, for the initial round. That number will get whittled down with each round, but we don't know yet who Linkara is going to be fighting for the first bout. We're still going over the stuff the Temblin sent, but we picked a few that we think we should be worried about and start trying to think of some strategies on how to fight them. Assuming we know what sort of contests they'll pick. Couldn't it just be like a board game or something? It's possible, but a board game might be a bit fairer than they want to play it. Chances are they'll pick something they're really good at. The rules state that they have to have a reasonable chance for their opponent to win. Well, in my experience, reasonable chance means whatever the hell they feel like it means. In one of my contests, I picked target shooting, and the other guy may have held a pistol once in his life. They let me get away with it. So, let's start going over the dossiers, beginning with the one we've already met before, Empira. Empira is a witch. In her universe, magic is more commonplace, but truly skilled sorcerers like her can level buildings. However, Empira apparently has fought demonic spirits and creatures before, so she's more of a hero than a villain and she tends to prefer subterfuge and mental trickery than shooting fireballs. She likes to let her opponent's minds destroy themselves for her. Considering she already used the mental crap on me before, chances are good next time we fight she'll just be shooting fireballs. This will be her first contest, but apparently she had a friend that competed in a couple before. Oh, speaking about first-timers, flip over to the next one here. Destra Galga, King of Creatures. It's a kaiju! There's a freaking kaiju champion? Yep. Destra Galga is 100 meters tall, can shoot a flaming energy beam from its mouth, and the spines on its back can apparently launch out and magnetically return to him. On his world, much like Godzilla, he's been both hero and villain. He's beaten several other kaijus, lost a few fights, and done untold amounts of damage. Dude, this is gonna be the best fight ever! How does a kaiju wear an infinity gauntlet? I'm sure it'll grow in size to fit. It is all powerful. The better question is how a freaking kaiju understands what all this is. Gotta have enough intelligence to understand most of this. He's fighting after all. 
which means we should probably start working on getting Neutro back up and running again should the time come. But honestly, it's the next guy we gotta worry about. The Bandit Chief. He has no other name. This will be his fourth contest that he's participated in. He's the guy that beat me when I was in a contest. He's a survivalist and a mercenary. He's cunning, he's fast, and I don't doubt for a moment that if killing actually happened in these contests, you wouldn't hesitate to slit your throat just for the fun of it. He's lost in all the other contests he's participated in, but he's made it to the semifinals in two of them. From what happened in my contest, the best way to beat him is to somehow put him on even ground. If he picks a contest, it's gonna be on his playground. Sounds good. Who's next? Well, um... Pilo! Are those... rocks? What, so it's like a rock monster or something? Uh, sort of. Well, in that... Yeah, they're rocks. Pull the other one. Are you saying this champion is a pile of rocks? Yeah, we're still not entirely certain how it works either. Pilo has participated in five contests before this one, and he's made it to second place in one of them. He's apparently a crowd favorite. It's a pile of rocks! Which means there's something weird about it that we gotta be concerned about, so uh, start thinking of ways to fight rocks. Rockin'! I figure this is a good place for us to start. We'll schedule another meeting in a few days. Study the dossiers, figure out who you think is going to be a problem, and some strategies that we can use to fight them. We'll reconvene then. Wait, Ace Corgi? Attorney at Paw? Yeah, we weren't too worried about that one. Well, what if he challenges you to a lawyering contest? Or eating dog food? Better start practicing. Are we sure this ain't some big con? So there you have it. Lankara won't be able to make it for the Left Olympics initiative. He says his hands are tied. Damn it. This is gonna set us back tremendously. Yeah, we're going up against the Yogi Yahoo even we need all the help we can get. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it too much, guys. We're the Vandy on tie and we can take on any challenge whether someone's on board or not. I agree with Shanks on this one. The exclusion of Link Car isn't that big a loss on our part. Yeah, unless there's a comic book critiquing contest as one of the events I think we'll be fine. Besides teammates, as long as old 83 Bud Ebear is here you'll have a mighty fine defensive line protecting you. Oh man, I sure hope there's a ninja related event during one of these games. Me and my pimp puppet Karasu are getting restless to do something for once in this group. Boy, it would sure be fun to get involved in one of these events as well, huh, Hector? Boy, you said it, Mundo, my luck buddy. I so want to give it to that farther fucker top cat in his game of Espins. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Only time will tell what those Hanabar beer robot guys have in store for us. Until then, we should just relax and unwind before the next event. Right, Gautatsuneko, my fur fag BFF. Or. Hey, I don't know why I'm even here. I'm not even part of this speedrobe group. Oh boy, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. <laughs> but seriously, I hope that wasn't it and the other science buffs of the group get that ship's manifest decrypted soon. We need to find out what Yogi and his group have in store for us before the final event. The fate of the Danny Dante may depend on it. Oh, no, no, no.